Hey guys, so I've got another Unity 5 tutorial today and this is going to be looking at another image effect and this is going to be colour correction this time. So, um, a lot of movies, a lot of games, a lot of things like that that you will see or even photos that people take will use colour correction to almost allude to a different sort of style set or keep everything in a, in a set style that you want. Now, in real life sometimes things look overexposed and look a bit too bright and in movies you can, to make something look more dark and dingy they'll put a colour correction over it to make it look dark and maybe bring the browns out or some reds out greens it depends and games like Fallout 3 had an overall sort of green tinge to it and they probably used some colour correction to sort of get that overall feel now in Unity 5 if we select the uh, first person controller you drag that into your scene and you select the first person character which is the camera now and you go to component image effects and we'll go to color adjustments we can choose color correction curves and saturation color correction 3d lookup texture and color correction ramp now today we're going to concentrate on the color correction curves and saturation because this is what I'm more familiar with from unity 4 now if we untick the box you can see that we've got a certain set of sort of parameters that we can adjust we can adjust saturation so if we pull the saturation all the way up we can get more of a, a cartoony bright feel about everything we pull the saturation all the way down we'll get a black and white look now if you keep it at one that will be a normal value now you've got two different modes simple and advanced simple is just lets you adjust the RGB values of everything that you see and advanced lets you change the depth of the RGB so it'll end up changing your sky and things like that. Now if we keep it on simple for now and we go to the red curve I usually like to have a curve which um, is this curve that's preset at the end. You can make your own curves and you can add your own keyframes in to adjust it accordingly but with this curve that slowly moves up and then curves back out and if you add that to every single one you'll get an overall darkened feel to your scene now of the different presets we can change so we'll get a more of a, a smooth curve towards the top and it'll bring more of the red saturation out we can do um, something similar with the green so we'll pull that as a, a sort of a belly curve towards the bottom and we'll get a really pink issue and we'll do the same with the blue and we can make all sorts of different colors depending on what we're after within our scene so if I take them all back to the end value so I just over one want the darker we can right click at the curve at any point add a keyframe and adjust the actual correction accordingly you can adjust the little sweepers and you can curve that around depends how you want to have it so we'll have more of a, a bluish tinge there we'll add another keyframe in here and we'll pull it sort of towards a darker purple and then we'll select our red channel and we'll pull that again maybe down towards a sort of dark blue and we'll even that out. Really, it's all dependent on what objects you've got in your scene. Really, my all my objects in my scene are just very, how do we say, very plain and not very much to them. So it won't have hectic greatly, or it might not be how you want. So you can obviously add another keyframe in if you want it to adjust different areas. So we'll get a more purplish hue where we've got our direct light, and then the blue in the corners. We can add the advanced like I was talking about so we can adjust the depth and now we can see we can adjust the sky which is going to affect everything else which is not within sort of the range of the camera and blend curve allows us to get an overall blend of the objects that are there we can choose selective which will sort of even out the color on the brighter areas and we can choose um, a color to be the set color and we want to be the target so really more so for the color correction it's best to just have a really experiment 
yourself and decide what sort of look are you wanting something more spacey something more just to darken the overall scene something to make it look more grungy it's really dependent on what your scene you're going for and how you want it to look because with just that simple curve I've, I've darkened it a little bit in the areas that and it sort of brings out the contrast a little bit more so really it's up to you on how you want to portray but thanks again for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers